and gentlemen, the incredible Natulal Solanki and, the fan and his fantastic group. Once again, it is with a feeling of profound celebration and humility that I welcome you all this morning to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series, Jaipur Literature Festival 2024. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series, Jaipur Literature Festival 2024, will be one of the festival's finest and most diverse editions with a multitude of stories and voices from across the world. The grand literary extravaganza will see over 550 writers, speakers, and performers, and will represent 16 Indian and eight international languages. Our speakers represent many spheres of writing and are from a range of professions and callings. They have led narratives of change and inspiration and created stories that have both captivated us and disturbed us. As every year, they have won a galaxy of literary awards from the Booker to the Pulitzer and the Academy to the Bailey Gifford and the Sahitya Academy Award. Let us together welcome another year of uncovering and understanding each other's stories fueled by the strength of books and ideas. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome you all, allow me to invite festival producer and managing director, Team Vakas, Sanjay Roy. Thank, thank you so much, Ankur. Nathulal Solanki is the 13th generation of Nagara players from Pushkar. And uh, without their presence here, we never start any of our many festivals across the world. Nathuji Pranam. Uh, Honorable Deputy Chief Minister, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Namita Gokhale, William Dalrymple, and all my colleagues at Teamwork Arts, and our new partners, Sanjay and Jyoti Agarwal, uh, welcome to the 17th edition of this festival. <laughs> 18 years ago, John and Faith Singh came out to Edinburgh to see how the Edinburgh Festival works. 33,000 programs there happen in built heritage, heritage spaces, uh, old, reused churches and chapels, basements, etc. Faith was inspired and said, why can't we do the same thing back here in Jaipur to sort of preserve the built heritage of the pink city and the Amir city. Many of you who know Faith will know that uh, she never takes no for an answer, and she made it happen. She created the Jaipur Virasat Heritage Festival in which Namita and William used to program a literature festival. Sadly, that festival didn't find the kind of support uh, that it should have, and Faith one day called and said, you know, why can't we rescue this festival? This is something that you all gave birth to. So we created from that what we know today as the Jaipur Literature Festival in its 17th edition. A big shout out to Faith. She continues to have incredible ideas is passionate about the city of Jaipur and Rajasthan, and I think she truly is a legend, uh, and in many ways behind uh, the revival of Jaipur as a craft and creative city. Thank you, Faith, for everything. <laughs> 17 years ago, when we began at Diggy Palace, it was a cold winter morning. I remember coming down and Ram Pratap and Jyotika and we were all together. And I said to my colleagues in the Darbar Hall, I said, so how many seats are there? And they said there are 230 seats. I said, who will come to Jaipur for a literature festival, take out 140 seats, only keep 100. But people did come. They came from across the world, from America and UK, from Germany and Europe and from across India. And the programming that Namita and William had put together really drove people year on year 
In the first year, we had five or 6,000 people. In the second, 15. In the third, 30. In the fourth, 60. And it all started at Digi, pa uh, Digi Palace. Thank you, Jyotika. Thank you, Ram Pratap. Uh, that really was the origins of this. Uh, about 11 years ago, as we started getting into trouble and facing the pressure of people here in Jaipur, we said, rather than people come here, why don't we take the festival to them? And we set up JLF London initially at the South Bank Center, and then later, after three years, in our home that we have today at the British Library. So that's, again, an incredible journey that we had. Our first international expedition was there. From there, we moved on to the United States of America. Jesse and Jules are here. They sent us an impassioned mail saying why we needed to go to uh, Boulder, Colorado. I had no idea where Boulder was at that point of time. And that today is our mothership in the United States. We've also extended it to Houston and New York. And this year, in 2024, we hope to be able to have a JLF in Seattle. We have our colleagues from Seattle here. As well, as well as the University of Seattle, uh, Seetal Kalantri and her colleagues. So thank you all. The festival has been growing ever since then. We've been in Adelaide, uh, we've been in Melbourne. We hope to come back to Australia this year, to Western Australia. We have now launched a new festival last year, our first non-English JLF, which was in Spain. Mar Sancho, the minister is here. Thank you, Mar Sancho and Yermo, our Imo Rodriguez, our colleagues and partners from Casa de la India, for helping us bring this festival to the Spanish-speaking world. So thank you so much for making that happen. During COVID, we went online pretty quickly. We had no idea who was watching or where they were watching from. And when we went to did our festival online entirely in 2020, one, we realized that over 25 million people across the world logged on. This year, Preeta and her colleagues in marketing hope to have a reach of 300 million uh, across the world. That's quite a remarkable figure. Our average view time, I mean, I keep saying they must be coming for 30 seconds or coming to our site to go somewhere else. But our average view time has increased to 13 minutes. And for any non-entertainment, program 13 minutes for a conversation is quite something. So that's, again, a, a remarkable achievement that the festival has had. We all know that the planet is at stress. We have people coming from across the world. Carbon footprint is an issue. What we've done for the last few years is work together with a number of organizations, primarily with the United Nations, to create what we hope uh, Madam Deputy Chief Minister will become a green initiative here in Jaipur that government and every organization can copy. The idea and the aim is that we will make this a carbon neutral festival and a waste neutral festival. Our request to each of you, absolutely, our request to each of you is whenever you see something, please pick it up. It's not just the responsibility of the cleaners. It's all our responsibility to keep this place clean. More importantly, if you're using a plastic water bottle, if, and please don't if you can avoid it, please ensure that you completely drink the full bottle and dispose of it in an appropriate place. With our colleagues, we've started tracking. We're going to do an audit of our waste management system so that we know all the way through our work with the JDA and disposal that all the waste is disposed in a particular manner, safe, and can be recycled. With Renew, with Renew Power, we are going to be offsetting the use of all the generators that we have in this location, all 17 of them, and all of the electricity consumed in the 14 hotels in Jaipur that we work with. They will be offsetting that with their carbon footprint to again try and make this festival carbon neutral and of course waste neutral. And with Earth Day, we do a whole planting the tree for each of you who come to the festival. So on that happy note, may I please request uh, Namitha Gokhale and William Dalrymple to escort uh, the Deputy Chief Minister and invite her up for the lighting of the lamp. May I also welcome Faith Singh, Apoorv, and Timmy, and ask Ankur to welcome the rest of our guests.
Can I also please request our festival patrons, Sanjay Agarwal, MD and CEO, AU Small Finance Bank, and Jyoti Agarwal to please come on stage. And of course, our wonderful partners, Senior Vice President, Samsung India, Mr. Raju Pullen, to please come on stage for the lighting of the lamp. Thank you, thank you, Shwetamri Astana from the Jayshree Periwal International School. Thank you so much. Now can I please request Honorable Deputy Chief Minister 
Dia Kumari to please say a few words. Can we request our wonderful friends from the press to settle down a little bit? Because our wonderful audience who have traveled from all over the world are a little uncomfortable. So please, can you just settle down a little bit? Both photos have been taken, right? Ladies and gentlemen, Deputy Chief Minister Dia Kumari. Thank you so much. I don't think anyone uh, wants to hear me speak. There are so many wonderful speakers and authors who all of us want to hear them. And, uh, you know, it's such a wonderful, wonderful uh, event, a festival. And I'm honored to be here uh, without actually mentioning anyone. Of course, I'd like to thank Sanjoy for giving me the honor of being here at the inaugural everyone associated with the festival, with JLF, uh, 17th edition, wonderful. For Jaipur, it's, uh, you know, I think Jaipur is synonymous with the Lit Fest, and I've been a part of it since the beginning, since 2006, me and my family. You have put Jaipur on the world map. It always was, but this is added to it. So congratulations to everyone. Welcome to Jaipur. Uh, of course, it's uh, today. This time, you made it a sustainable uh, lit fest, so uh, that's uh, really, really the need of the hour. I'd like to thank everyone who made the effort of coming here and uh, making it so wonderful. Five days of, uh, and not only uh, you know uh, all of you who are associated with the literary world. It's also a great boost for tourism and for the government of Rajasthan. I think what you do for the tourism industry is much more than any of us. Of course, Rajasthan tourism is associated with the Lit Fest, but I think you do more for it in the, la in the five days every year than all of us than what we do in the whole year put together. So I'd like to thank everyone and uh, great honor. Uh, so just thank you so much from the government of Rajasthan and the tourism uh, ministry. Uh, thank you for coming to Jaipur, for making the, it uh, the place to be at. I think everyone now plans their holidays, their conferences, their events around the Jaipur Literary Festival, which is wonderful for Jaipur. So once again, thank you and uh, delighted to be here. Have a wonderful five days. Thank you so much. A small token of her appreciation to the Deputy Chief Minister. It's a piece of craft woven uh, handloom. Thank you so much, uh, ma'am, for being here. Uh, we welcomed her in London. We look forward to continuing to welcome her and receiving the support of the government of Rajasthan. And of course, the police of Rajasthan have been very, very supportive. Thank you very much, ma'am. This year uh, has been a tragic year. Of course, there's so many people who've died from different parts of the world, but we especially at the Jaipur Literature Festival would like to record our, our deep uh, uh, sympathy for the demise of a few people. My own colleague, Salim, passed away a few weeks ago in, in Delhi. And earlier this year, we lost Patrick French, and we wanted to start by paying a tribute uh, to Patrick and to B.N. Goswami, which I think after William speaks, we'll do a little tribute to, uh, to B.N. Goswami. But let's play the tribute first for Patrick French. The, the last biography that I did was of uh, V.S. Naipaul. Uh, that was a book called The World Is What It Is, which came out uh, 10 years ago. Uh, there's an instinctive quality that perhaps you have when you write the biography of somebody of the same gender as yourself, which is different. It, it sort of, it makes you perhaps look a little harder and think about things a little, uh, a little differently. You know, one of the great things about writing a successful book that is uh, both a popular hit and wins prizes is that you get always a tax on the book. Uh, that's always part of the, the kind of enjoyment of the success. Do all of that cataloging, do the files, the folders, the chronology, the themes, the subjects, but your best 
idea of the story, your best idea of the narrative, comes from memory. We remember Patrick with great love. He's been part of the festival since its inception. But like I said, you know, the really the strength of the Jaipal Richa Festival has always been its programming. Please welcome festival co-directors Namitha Gokhale and William Dalrymple to lay out what we have, the riches uh, that they have for us over the next five days. Dear friends, I've lost my voice. Can you hear me? Good. You know, we miss Patrick French who so many of us loved and admired, and who left us last year. He was my beloved son-in-law, and a true friend of this festival, who gave so much to it over the years. His work and his biographical genius remain as a testament to our times. And then there's B. N. Goswami, who should have been here with us today. His loss is even more recent. He, he had called me a few weeks before he died and sent me a copy of his new book, which was on cats in art, around which he had a session here at the festival. Respects and Naman to both. Aap sabko Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series Jaipur Literature Festival mein hardik swagat. Har saal main sahitya utsav ke liye ek upma chunti hoon. Is varsh phir Katha Sarit Sagar par lot aayi hoon. Anek vichar dharao aur rachnatma kalpnao kalpna yahan prasthit hoti hai. Sabhi ka yahan samagam hai. Har saal ki tarhe is baar bhi sahitya utsav hamari badalti dunia ko samajh ne ka prayas hai. Agle kuch dino mein sahitya aur sanwad vichar aur vivad kavita aur kala का इंद्र धनुष हम प्रस्तुत करेंगे हमारे साथ जुड़ने के लिए बहुत धन्यवाद और आभार मृदुल कीर्ति जी इस साल आए हैं एक उनकी कविता मुझे बहुत पसंद आई थी मेरे दिल में घर कर गई थी उसमें लिखा है कुछ लिखे गए कुछ लिखती हूँ कुछ का लिखा जाना बाकी है बस हम त्रिकाल के प्रश्नों पर अविरल निशब्द कहानी है Thank you. अब मैं जरा अंग्रेजी में अपना प्रोग्राम बताऊंगी। अगर मेरी आवाज जरा फटी बास की तरह हो रही है, तो आप please be patient. आप लोगों को सुनाई दे रहा है कि आवाज में अजीब सा हो रहा है। Dear friends and lovers of literature, a very warm welcome to the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series, Jaipur Literature Festival. Every year, I search a metaphor to describe the Jaipur Literature Festival. This year, I have returned once again to the image of the Katha Sarit Sagar, the sea of stories <clears throat> where the streams and rivers of our individual narratives return to the confluence of collective experience. And this is a collective experience, what we have here. We, we, there is all of us together raising the energy in a way that is unprecedented almost anywhere. In this, our 17th year, we remain committed to the rich diversity of our multilingual heritage. <coughs> we have writers from over 25 nationalities and eight international languages. Six Indian languages, 16 Indian languages will be represented. These include tribal languages like Sambalpuri, like Toda, and uh, evocative oral traditions. My co-director William Dalrymple and I have pieced together a diversity of our rich literary heritage. <clears throat> we have writers from, <clears throat> um, <we've>, we, <clears throat> we try to make sense of our times <coughs> and to understand our place in them. Sanjoy Roy and our colleagues at Teamwork Arts bring this vision to life. Together, we give voice to something which is much larger than our individual selves. The legend that is Gulzar Saab, I don't see him in the front row, but he is there to bless us uh, the greatest 
poet, the greatest living poet, the legend of joy and uh, of, of, of a free-flowing spirit. <clears throat> he launches two books around his incredible corpus of work. Balo Par represents his poetry in English translation, and we have an inside Hindi tribute to his genius, aptly titled Gulzar Sahib. Then, in the year of the Ram Mandir, we have a compelling session upon Tulsi Das and the living heritage of the Ram Charit Manas with Philip Lutgundov, Harish Trivedi, and Yatendra Mishra. This is now, uh, the dates have been changed. It is now on the second. And my session on the second is on the third. Mukund Padmanabham and Monlumo Kikon speak of the long shadow of the Second World War and the decisive battle of Kohima that changed its outcome, told from the first time ever from the Indian perspective. There's my favorite author of Marcus du Sotoy, who investigates how games provide early opportunities for deep mathematical insight in his book, Around the World in 80 Games. These are just some teasers. We explore a universe of ideas and themes, mathematics to music, camels to cuisine, poetry to psychology. We bring you the world of style and fashion with Tarun Tehliani. We study myth and memory with Devdat Patnaik, Amish Tripathi, Malushri Lal, Anand, Neelakantan, and so many others. <clears throat> we seek insights into spirituality with Andrew Quintman and the Tibetan mystic and saint, Guru Melarepa. Arundhati Subramaniam speaks on wild women and the sacred feminine and Sadhvi Bhagwati Saraswati on Hollywood and the Himalayas. Crime writing and detective fiction are presented through different lens and perspectives. We study the expanding role of artificial intelligence in different fields, including in the literary world. Veer Sangvi and Meru Gokhale examine the complexities of the editorial <coughs> interface. We discuss the Vachik Parampara, the oral tradition, and powerful voices from across the Indian languages. We speak of the environment, climate activism, economics. There's my debut novel, Paro, Dreams of Passion, which turns 40 this year. And a new novel, Never Never Land, which are now both on the third. I better tell, otherwise there may be a mix up. Now, my colleague Manisha is sitting here who has programmed the Jaipur bookmark, uh, which addresses the business of books with a brilliant lineup of themes and speakers. <clears throat> There's a special focus on translation, and we shall release a rights catalog with representation from five Indian languages. We also try to anticipate the transformative changes in the horizon of the publishing industry, with sessions on AI, digital adaptations, international publishers, and stalwarts from India, speaking about where the book trade stands now. And there's a publisher's round table, which we all very well much look forward to. Now there's a closing debate will be held right here. And as you all know, it is the most boisterous concluding event of this festival. Veer Sangvi will address the theme of privacy and free speech in the times of surveillance technology. This is something that impacts all our lives in different ways. And we should have the participatory energy that this debate always draw forth from our mammoth audiences for participatory uh, energy translate as screaming and shouting. The special magic of our festival will float through these grounds in the coming days. We will be spoiled for choice <coughs> as incredible and illuminating conversations unfold before us. Deep gratitude to so many people and institutions, to the vision of Faith Singh, nurturing and love from the Digi Palace, Jyotika and Ram Pratap, the Clark's Hotel, Kumar family for their uh, unstinting affection. Thank you to the writers, the readers, the ideators, all those who help us create this extraordinary festival. And I thank you in the audience, all of you who believe in the transformative power of words. And thank you for being patient with my voice. Thank you. One of the great wonders of this festival is just the sheer scale, the way that it's grown. I always tell the story of the first year in the festival when we had only, I think, three rows filled for the very first event. 
And then just at the last minute, this steady stream of Japanese tourists turned up and filled miraculously the entire hall so that we didn't have a single empty seat. And it was only halfway through that they realized that it was not Amer Palace and they were in the wrong place. And found that. But by that time, the, the Delhi Wallers arriving late as ever had turned up uh, and we were able to fill in the rest. It's an interesting question to ask why it is that India has responded to literary festivals in the way it has. Because following the success we've had here, there are now literary festivals in almost every town in India, in Nepal, in Sri Lanka, in Bhutan, uh, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh. It's become a major movement, and it all started here. <laughs> but why? And seeing Princess Dia on stage a few minutes ago reminds us, of course, that the public performance of literature in this country has always been an important part of life. Sawai Man Singh began each day at the Durbar court in the 18th century with a goshti, with a literary festival. Poets proclaimed and performed. We are in a state which has rich oral traditions of, uh, of the FAD, uh, and the story of Papuji and Gogaji, uh, and all these extraordinary oral traditions where literature is not something that's just read, but it's something which is performed in public for people. And I think there's something that we have tapped into unwittingly here, which is why this has taken off in this miraculous way. Last year, we crossed a third of a million people. It's just getting bigger every year. We should particularly thank our wonderful new title sponsors who have been so generous. Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 series, which we've all got to learn to say in that order. <laughs> uh, I am a keen Samsung user and I'm very, very pleased to welcome them. We have one of the most spectacular um, programs we've ever put together. Namata, as usually, has, has combed India for its greatest writers, but we're bringing in from outside three Booker winners, five Pulitzer winners, um, winners of the, of the Samuel Johnson, the Bailey Gifford, the National Book Award. All this year's greatest writers and most celebrated books are here in Jaipur this week. I'd just like to say at the end that we, to repeat what Sanjoy and Nam said about those we have lost. Uh, we've lost my best man and friend since I was 13, Patrick French. We also lost my wonderful mentor and beloved friend, Bien Goswami, uh, who has been year after year at this festival educating us. It was a wonderful thing to see this. The, I had no idea he was in his 90s. See, this elegant man would turn up in a blazer with a cravat, and you'd see all the aunties in the audience virtually sort of perspiring at the moment he got on stage. Uh, it was, uh, he, was, he remained this sort of fantastic, uh, uh, and he could speak with gorgeous uh, intonation, all the Urdu, all the Persian, uh, and uh, would, would just charm and seduce audiences into loving the art history of this country. So we're now going to go and have a small film of BNG on the screen to celebrate this great man. Thank you so much. Hasti ke mat fareb me ajaiyo asad. He says, Hasti ke मत फरेब में आ जाइयो असद आलम तमाम हलकाए दामे ख्याल है मीनिंग व्हाट डू नॉट बी डिसीव्ड बाय व्हाट वी सी ऑल दैट वी सी यू एंड आई इज बट वन लूप इन द ग्रेट नेट ऑफ इमेजिनेशन व्हाट distinguishes uh, BNG's work uh, is that it is rigorously researched uh, with incredible um, precision uh, and, uh, and uh, academic rigor. Um, and yet it's presented in the most beautiful mellifluous prose um, and polished with the soul uh, of a poet.
Thank you, our wonderful festival co-directors, Namita Gokhale and William Dalrymple. And of course, we would like to acknowledge the presence of former Prime Minister of Australia, Mr. Malcolm Turnbull, and of course, Mrs. Turnbull. And now, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to invite on stage Senior Vice President, Samsung India, Mr. Raju Pullen, to say a few words. Thank you, Samsung, for being our title and our naming rights partner. Thank you. Good morning to everybody, respected dignitaries, and the galaxy of luminaries and dear friends. It feels amazing to be present here at the biggest show on earth at Jaipur the Jaipur Literature Festival 17th edition. Get your hands together for this fantastic event. At Samsung, we are truly proud of this partnership with the Jaipur Literature Festival, which celebrates writers, readers, influencers, and thinkers. Some of you must be wondering why a tech company like Samsung has partnered with a literature festival. Well, Samsung represents the convergence of content and technology. And we believe that tech democratizes content and its creation. And for that, and these days, it's very important that content is consumed. And that is what Samsung brings on the table. Nothing can take away from the romantic appeal of words written on paper. But it is only the creativity backed by technology that has the power to democratize knowledge and information. Ladies and gentlemen, at Samsung, it is our mission to unlock imagination, unleash creativity, and drive engagement that enriches experience. Our devices are truly a blank canvas for you thinkers, authors, and creative geniuses, which opens up immense possibilities. They are designed to inspire spontaneous creativity and provide immersive experience like the Galaxy S9 Tab series. Every edition of the Jaipur Literature Fe Festival is a memory to cherish for all, our, all of us and all book lovers. The discussions, the master classes, the workshops, and the amazing camaraderie that I saw today and that I see today. All of this foster and make Jaipur Literature Festival a melting pot of ideas, narratives, and inspiring voices. I wish the spirit of this collaboration and creativity and co-creation continue to flourish year after year. From all of us in Samsung India, we wish the 17th edition of the Jaipur Literature Festival the very, very best. Thank you. Have a great week ahead. And let's continue to inspire each other. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Pullum. And now, allow me to invite a wonderful person who all of us should learn from. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Managing Director and CEO of AU Small Finance Bank, our festival patron, Mr. Sanjay Agarwal. So thank you, Ankur. I think you're giving the wrong introduction, right? <laughs> so Pranam, Namaskar. You know, happy to be here, excited. You know, um, I don't know how to introduce myself, but I'm Sanjay Agarwal. You know, I'm a Jaipur boy. Uh, Jaipur native now. I'm, I'm not no more boy, but you know, still a Jaipur guy. <laughs> you know, so welcome to Jaipur, uh, city of, uh, of course, the you people, right, and uh, whole Jaipurites, and more importantly, JLF. You know, because from last what 17, 18 years, I'm seeing this property, like you know, wow, you know, what a super, super achievers uh, you have done over the years. You know, and make us proud, right? And the new capacity, you know, which Sanjay will only tell you. But I'm honored, sir, that you have chosen us to be a partner in your journey. 
you know, and uh, so for me, uh, literature has nothing to do with me, right? I'm a very dry guy, you know. I'll meet you across in the next five days, six days to explain myself or to express myself, but idea is to le really learn more, you know, observe more, and how can I help uh, Sanjoy and the entire teamwork team to make it bigger, make it more scalable, you know, in my capacity, you know. I know it's still a bigger and scalable, but, you know, whatever I can do uh, in next maybe, I don't know how many years, but we'll try to uh, 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 put my best foot forward and try to make it, make it more, uh, I would say, enjoyable, you know, more contentful, more richful, you know, which is all about JLF, right? So thank you so much. I hope uh, you'll enjoy your next five days in Jaipur, you know. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. You know, in all of these many years, people, many, many of you know that running a festival and running an organization in the arts doesn't necessarily mean that you're creating wealth. But when we set up Teamwork Arts, Mohit Satyanand and myself, 35 years ago, the dream was that it wouldn't be just a not-for-profit. It would be for profit, and we would show that the arts, too, can create wealth, can create jobs, can create... Um, work for communities, can develop cities, and that's what we've tried to do. And we're glad that now we have somebody in the wealth business who's <laughs> joined hands for us. So this will be a, a, long, a long association. Thank you so much, uh, Sanjay and Jyoti, uh, for joining hands. Thank you. I just want to be clarify here because I have something to do about money, right? But nothing to do about art, right? So maybe, so maybe. money, money and, uh, and yes. art coming together. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Sanjay ji, Jyoti ji, and your wonderful foundation. As we all know that no festival, no event is possible without the support of partners and sponsors and friends. And to bring all of this together, you know, the, my colleague, President Team Vokas, Preeta Singh, has anchored this entire story. Can I please request her to say a few words? Good morning, everyone. I'm glad everybody's here, and uh, welcome to the, it's ever-growing, uh, Sanjoy keeps at the beginning of the year, we have a little meeting to say, what does the next year look like as far as the festival's concerned? Oh, it'll be a little bigger, and by the time we get here in January, and uh, this year in February, it's not little bigger, it's massively bigger. And guess what? Um, when we do budgets and we sit down, there's a very, um, I think, a very sensible, realistic number that's shared. And as the year goes by, not only the, the number of people, and thank you for being here, the audience, but the millions of things that are happening, the, the ask goes up. So I'm not going to go through 40 partners that we have because we'll be here till the evening. But I do want to thank a couple of people who've come on board this year and every year we look for new partners. So anybody who has any ideas, I'm going to be around over the next four days, happy to talk, happy to connect. I want to thank both the teams at Samsung and Shell. That's their um, communication partners. Because it's taken us four months to create this partnership, which I believe will endure over time. Because there is an opportunity. There's an opportunity with their tech devices, and there's an opportunity with all of us here who've got amazing ideas. So thank you, Samsung, and thank you, Chell. The other partner that I really want to thank is Nandghar. Nandghar is a big social impact partner that we brought on board for the first time because of the good work that they're doing with the government of India across the countries with mother and children. And I think that's a very important focus. And there's a lot of work that's going to happen at the Nandghar Bagan, so please catch it. It's to do with the whole oral tradition of uh, literature and storytelling, particularly in Rajasthan. Uh, apart from that, there are several new uh, partners we've got, uh, like Vedika, like Fratelli, you know, and thanks to them, and, and Diageo, we're all going to have lovely evenings. But I think Renew and people like that that Sanjo has covered are all new partnerships which will help us with the times to move with the times, make it carbon neutral, Air India, which is, you know, we're very proud that they're our partners to carry you people across the world. And I'm not going to go into any more, but thank each one of them. And thank you all for being here, all our media partners to take the word out to millions of people who can't be here. 
So thank you and hope to you enjoy the festival. Thank you so much, Preeta. One of the things that people remember when they go away from the festival is really our volunteers. Uh, we have, I think, over 450 this year been trained by the Yuva Ekta Foundation and our colleagues there. A big shout out to them. They're absolutely amazing. They've taken so much of time and energy to be with us. And of course, a big shout out to all of you for choosing to join us here for the next five days. Enjoy the festival. And can I ask Ankur to come back and introduce our festival, our venue managers for the front lawn today. Thank you, Sonjoy. No more speeches already for the first session right here at this wonderful venue of the festival at 11 o'clock. Allow me to introduce our wonderful venue managers, Vivek and Catriona. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're very, very welcome here at the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Series Jaipur Literature Festival Front Lawn. Namaskar, everybody. Yeah. This is my colleague Vivek. He will be introducing the sessions this morning. Thank you, Kat. Um, so, just to take everyone through all the wonderful sessions that are happening at um, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Series Jaipur Literature Fest. Um, at Front Lawn today, we have the Balu Bar, the beating heart of poetry with Bulzar Saab, Rakshada Jalil, and Pawan K. Varma in conversation, presented by Red FM. Uh, at Char Bagh, we have the Prophet Song, Paul Lynch in conversation with Nandini Nair, introduced by Kevin Kelly, Ambassador of Ireland to India, supported by the Embassy of Ireland. Musically speaking, the chords of Mughal India, Catherine Schofield, in conversation with Vidya Shah and Rana Safi. In the bar hall, we have songs of Mila Repa with Andrew Quintman and Kelly Dorji in conversation and introduced by Namita Gokhale, presented by Blue One Inc. We just want to go through some quick housekeeping rules. Please do not leave your bags unattended at the festival. If we are unable to take responsibility for any loss of belongings. Please ensure your phones are placed in, in a silent mode should you need to have an urgent conversation anywhere. Please do so outside the session venue. We would be grateful if you could please give up your seats for the elderly and those in need of assistance. Please note to keep the aisles free. This is for your own safety and security. You can tweet and post using hashtags galaxytabs xjaipurlitfest, hashtag jaipurlitfest2024, and for Twitter or X, you can use hashtag galaxytabs jaipurlitfest. Please note that the festival venues are in a no smoking zone and we request you not to smoke in public spaces. Smoking on the premises is punishable by law. We encourage all of you all to implement the conscious reuse of water bottles. The, there are water dispensers available across the venue to refill. Furthermore, we request you to please dispose of all the rubbish in the designated bins and refrain from littering the festival venues. We have the Jaipur music stage uh, held between the 1st of to 3rd of February at Hotel Clark Samer from 8.30 p.m. to catch a spectacular lineup, including Tapi Project, Pradeep, Alif, and When Chai Meets Toast. So do book those tickets, and more information is available at the information counter. To get the best possible festival experience, purchase a Friends of Festival package, which gives access to exclusive access and a luxurious lounge. For more details, please visit the festival website, jaipurliterfest.org. We'll be commencing with our session shortly. 
Thank you for your patience.